welcome back to my channel it is now Monday the 8th of what month are we in April <laughs> so um, yeah um, my husband went grocery shopping earlier today and then like once I put through all the groceries I realized that the kids school lunch stuff when I bought then I forgot to do a haul in that so I was just like it is what it is like I tried my best but anyways I have not been taking care of my skin and it shows I have like this zit right here that's really like working on my nerves <clears throat> so currently I want to start on my night skincare routine prep um, I'm going in with gentle magic face mask and I'm gonna let this sit for the longest time I know they say you're not supposed to but I'm just like you know what I need to reset I need to get my skin to where it was like a couple of weeks ago I've been really lazy I've been doing the bare minimum sometimes I'm just using soap so that's what I want to do right now start that night routine and then let's see how long it will take me to get my skin back to where it used to be <laughs> especially because I want this pimple to be taken care of and one thing I know about the gentle magic face mask is that girl if you have a pimple or a zit it literally takes like two days or three days max to get rid so let me go work come back and finish this a little bit later
is Saturday morning. I need to take this hair out and then go to the salon and go get a new hairstyle done. Not sure what I'm doing yet. Um, I'll just put it up, like put, show you the different options that I wanted. But yeah, got my lashes done yesterday, so a girl is feeling like a girl. <laughs> um, my skin has improved so much. Remember the last time we spoke? I was struggling with my skin and the improvement is so good. The only thing I have is another breakout here at the bottom. I don't know what's going on, but as long as I can hide it, it's okay. So let me start. Um, let me get ready. Let me take off this hair so I can, quick, can quickly go to the hair salon and get a new hairstyle done. <laughs> decided to take a much needed break this week and I just was focusing on my skin and all the other stuff um, so I didn't do much vlogging but anyways um, I got my lashes done or oh, girl has her wings on her eyes <laughs> and then I also got my hair done so I wanted something really different um, than what I usually do because I'll be going to Johannesburg to the Fluence Africa Festival which is going to be happening on the 20th of April and I just needed something like you know different something cute something nice um, so the middle is not plaited it's just the sides and I got this done yesterday so right now what I want to do is I just want to do my morning skincare um, there's a few stuff like washing that I've gotten done that I need to, you know, get done for the day. And this weekend has just been really relaxing, not doing much. So let me not babble anymore. Let me get my skincare and let's just chat, okay, while I get all of this done and sorted. <laughs> This afterglow cosmetics uh, charcoal detox face mask and of course I also use the gentle magic one but I alternate how I use them so if I use gentle magic mask on a Monday then I use this one on a Wednesday um, so I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna put this one on for today because I feel like my skin is behaving again and my period started so part of me is like 
this is why I was going through it, man. <laughs> my skin was just, I don't know what it is. Like, there are certain seasons where I get breakouts. There are certain seasons where I can have my period and I'm normal. And whenever I have a breakout, I kind of panic a little bit. <laughs> because I've worked so hard on my skin, um, which I shouldn't. I should always consider these things. But Mundu mm, just likes to panic, man. Like, we like to panic for no reason, you know? <laughs> Just when I get downstairs, I know what I'm doing. I'd love to take you with me to go hang clothes, but Sana, there is no way I'm carrying a tripod downstairs, leaving my camera downstairs, then coming back up for the bed. Oh, no child. <laughs> so let me let this sit for like a couple of minutes, and then I'll be back with you to finish the rest of the morning skincare routine. Everyone is still sleeping, so I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this quiet phase, you know, before the chaos begins. mixing it up in the mornings and I'm going in with the afterglow um, this one the daily toner anyways guys I have news I have been working so hard on myself these past couple of months um, I really wanted to grow like in the content creating space and you know I always say like for me that PE doesn't have a lot of opportunities you know what I mean like that's what I always say but I personally had not been putting myself out there because I was just so set in the fact that PE is a small city and so I just used that as an excuse not to try so I started putting myself out there just to see how PE would you know accept me and of course I told you guys the last time that I was asked to be a writer a beauty writer for of one online magazine and my article was already published literally forgot to update you on that um, so I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you to go read my first article with them and then if you've noticed I've been to this jazz performances like a couple of times so I had a meeting and your girl is officially the PR influencer for um, this brand this company and so all of these jazz places and performances that you've been seeing me going to, I've been going for free. I 
had a nice meeting with the owner he's all the way in austria and oh i don't know how to tell you how i felt i feel like this is I'm, I'm finally doing what i always wanted to do you know like and i feel confident in doing so like i had the meeting i was being told you know the brief my expectations what i'll be getting from this collaboration and i wasn't scared i was excited i was like yes okay i didn't say that there <laughs> but in my head i was like girl this, this is what we wanted bring it on so that is exciting news for me and honestly it's given me such a confidence booster in terms of content creating and pushing for what i enjoy and what i like doing and yeah guys like i just feel like now I j like it's just bigger and better from here on like if i'm able to just filter into the pe market and get something like this what can't i do like what can i not do you know what i mean so i'm super super happy about that and i just wanted to share that with you guys okay Next, I'm going in with the Afterglow Barrier Corrector, my favorite product from this brand as well. And remember, oh, remember, guys, how in my previous vlog I spoke about the twenties and what it means to me and what advice you would have. Um, I actually want to talk about now making friendships after high school or university. Personally, most of my close friends that I have, I have made in high school into university. And if I have made a friend in university, then yeah, that's whoever I've brought along with me. And I've just found that making friends after university and meeting different people is just, it's just a different ball game. Like, I don't know what it is, man. It's just... You meet someone and you you think you know you're jelling you're doing well and then you're like mm -mm, this is not for me so for me my closest friends around me literally are people like i said that i made early in life after university <clears throat> i wouldn't call them i do have friends like i do um there's a rare friend that obviously i made like later and we we're super close but most of them it's, it's just people that you know are put at a at a distance like mm -mm, um i like you but we're not gonna be super close and it just got me thinking because of course i've had a lot of learning to do especially with trusting people that i don't know um the serum trusting people that i don't know it's just made me realize that the same way that you have like do's and don'ts or boundaries when you are going into or starting a new relationship I think should be the same case for friendships that you start and Isana, I don't know if I'm late to the game like I said <laughs> I've done a lot of learning and reflecting in the past couple of two years or months or whatnot Andy for me I used to be that person if I meet you and you and I jowl like the first time my gay we're friends <laughs> Andy because we child or we have something in common, I will then run with that, you know. Um, I will ignore any red flags that you do bring to the table. Because in my head, I'm like, Oksalayo, you know, you and I get along for this. Why? <laughs> Why do I need to do that? What is the reason? Why do I need to put myself in spaces that make me uncomfortable? All for the sake of holding on to the one thing that you have in common giving toxic relationship you know but like i said i'm so much more confident in myself i know exactly what i want now so obviously that's not a factor anymore but it just got me thinking that the approach for actual friendships or partnerships that you form should be the same in terms of a relationship right because obviously you know what you what you're going to tolerate and what you're not going to tolerate i don't know how do you guys feel about making friends outside of university or outside of, of high school? Um, do you feel like you've formed greater bonds with the people around you that you've met afterwards? Or do you think the long-term friends that you've had for longer, I'm not even saying high school or whatever because I don't know what your situation is, but do you think that you are still able to cultivate nourishing relationships that are building, um, that have trust, now at this age later 
Or do you believe that the friendships that you have are people that you brought with you from when you were younger, you know? Love to hear your thoughts on that, honestly. <laughs> because I'm just at that stage in my life where I'm like, mm -mm, no new friends. We can be acquaintances, yes. We can do things together, yes. But like, who told me like, ah, <laughs> gay No ways. But yeah, my skin is done. My skin is glowing, guys. Look at the difference. Still have like a little remnants of the zit, but it's disappearing. I had one down here, but it's also disappeared. But I'm happy. I'm looking good. I'm looking glowy. Let's get this go going. I'm not gonna vlog much today because it's like I said, it's a chill Sunday, but yeah man that's my skin i'm super happy it's bounced back so quickly from the last time we spoke you probably could be like oh there's not even a difference but i see the difference okay but anyways let me get this day started and going hey guys so i just wanted to end the vlog here i ended up getting my nails done today i wanted to shoot more footage and i was like mm -mm, this vlog is going on for way way too long okay so um, I'm going to set a picture of my nails, absolutely love it, my inspo pick and the nails that I got. My nail tech is the absolute best. This is the end of our maintenance vlog. Um, thank you guys for staying tuned. And for the next one, I'm getting ready to go to Johannesburg to the Fluence Africa Influenza Festival. What? I'm super nervous. Like I don't think I've been this nervous before. So I'm going to start prepping for that i'm gonna show you items that i bought orders that came in my she in my take a lot things that i bought at um you know the store that i like to go to in town so let me end this vlog here let me start prepping for johannesburg thank you for staying tuned i really do appreciate you and we'll be back with another vlog next week sunday bye